Hello humanoids welcome to hash robotics this is hari shankar in this video we are going to see how to control the movements of the robot using tims pca9685 servo controller software for that i am going to use arduino uno and a cable for serial communication if you did not subscribe yet please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for instant notification please watch the video without skipping if you have any doubt or suggestion please drop a comment first i am going to remove the connections from esp32 to connect arduino uno This is the circuit diagram with Arduino. Do the connection as per the circuit diagram. This is the website for Tim's PCA9685 servo controller. The website link available in the description. Please check. There are two versions available. I'm going to download version 2. Once the download complete, extract the file. When the extraction done, you can able to see setup file. Double click on the setup file to install the software. Once the software installed, you can able to see the screen like this. In the drop down, you can able to see the number of ports that are connected. Select the port and press connect button to connect. Here you can able to select PCA9685 servo driver address here you can set frequency value by using the slide bar you can able to control the angle of the servo motor if you move the slide bar 
the corresponding pwm value will also get changed you can see that in the feedback field if you click add button the current pwm values will be added in the script field by using delay button you can able to add delay between two run scripts when you click trims and info a separate window will be opened here you can able to set minimum and maximum pulse width Before we start, we need to upload the X file to Arduino. In the Arduino folder, you will find X loader. Extract the file. When you double click X loader, a window will open. Here, select the port, board. and file and upload as you can see the file is uploaded now now we can able to start controlling the robot movement Here I have changed minimum and maximum pulse width because in my coding I have declared 100 as minimum and 550 as maximum pulse width. Now start controlling the movements of the robot. for every position add the pwm values in the script field
once you done save the pwm script file once you saved open the script file it will look like this Now I am going to disconnect with Arduino and reconnect with ESP32. I have created a method called say hi. Now we have to copy and paste the PWM values in the array. Once you done, upload the program and check. As you can see, it is working fine. Thanks for watching.